All right, y'all, today I'm eating Red Rooster, and as you can already tell, something fishy is going on. Yeah, I'm doing a voiceover because my mic's got me fucked up, man. I'm, I'm ticked off, but it is what it is. It's better than throwing away all the footage because you can only try Red Rooster once for the first time. And I'll tell you, Red Rooster was something special. It was... It was one of the most unique fast food chicken experiences I've had. And I'm not just saying that. You'll see once I unpack these. If you don't know what Red Rooster is, it's a big chicken chain, fast food uh, chicken chain here in Australia. I think it's like their second largest chain, Australian owned, after, um, what is it, Hungry Jack's. But Hungry Jack's is basically just like the Australian version of, it's, it's basically Burger King. So Red Rooster, anyway, it's it's big. I got a lot of controversy in the comments. Some people saying you got to try it. Some people saying it's garbage. That means I definitely got to try it. So here I am unboxing everything. I paid 84 US dollars for everything you see here. And, you know, I'd say it's a decently fair price because there's a lot of food. Here's the first thing that I'm going to, uh, that might be pretty unique to people who aren't used to seeing stuff like this. I'm like, hold on. I need some plates, man. You never know. I don't know if I need plates. I don't know if I can pull it off every time I sit down to film a video, but this time I definitely did because what is that? It's a whole damn chicken. That's a whole damn roast chicken and a little bit deceiving on screen. It looks a little bit small. This is definitely like a medium sized chicken, at least compared to what I'm used to. Back in Korea, we got some pretty small chickens. This is way bigger than those, maybe even double the size of a lot of chickens that you can see in Korea. I spent like 10 minutes just unboxing and plating and presenting everything. This always is one of the more annoying parts of setting up but um the food was still hot like that roast chicken was still hot as hell by the time i, I sunk my teeth into it but uh just setting up uh took, takes takes quite a bit of time i basically sped up all the footage 4x right now and it was like 40 over 40 minutes of footage is probably a little bit over 10 minutes of footage right now and i'm not gonna cut anything including the b footage i got a little b footage too uh, but I'm not going to cut everything. Just speed it up and kind of give a little behind the scenes. I feel like I might as well give you all a little peek behind the curtains as long as this video is effed up anyway. Um, but yeah, I didn't plan on, on showing any of this. I was gonna, just going to do a quick cut. 10 minutes. Here I am. A little bit cringe, you know, like trying to get a thumbnail. I actually doubled down and try to get another thumbnail after I readjust one of these plates here in a minute. But uh, now I'm looking for a plate so I don't just completely mess up this table too much. Uh, and I, did I pick up? That wrapper off the floor, I might have just done that. Y'all are not supposed to see that. I'm setting up my B-cam. The B-cam footage is a little bit shaky, a little bit, you might, hopefully you don't get too dizzy, but just a little warning here. Uh, I think I'm just blabbering my ass off. Basically, I'm the worst presenter live. Like when I'm on doing these videos, I say a line maybe five to 10 times sometimes just to get it right. I, here I am going for another thumbnail, just stupid. I just look like a clown looking at myself right now but to be honest i'm used to it right now but i usually just immediately cut that part off and move on anyway here's a quicker look at uh the food so here's that roast chicken and there's a little secret surprise in that later but it's it's good and juicy and good looking skin it's good color uh real good stuff here we have a combo this came in a box set so we have mashed potatoes and gravy we have a pineapple fritter we have fries and a three-piece um red's hot chicken this over here more various types of chicken. This is These are cheesy nuggets. And we have popcorn chicken, we have three buttermilk wings, and we have a regular piece of fried chicken, a counterpart to that Red's Hot fried chicken. And over here, last but not least, we have three different types of sandwiches or wraps. On the right we have, or on the left we have a wrap. In the middle, this I think this is their like OG sandwich, it's called their Ripper Roll, I believe. And it's on a like a decent little bread roll, like it's not on a hamburger bun. So I found that pretty interesting. Now here is what they're calling the rooster roll. I thought that this was gonna be kind of a play on a, a lobster roll, except for chicken. It's a little bit different than that, uh, but we'll get into that here in a minute, but I am probably just blabbering on a little bit more. And we're gonna just go down the line from right to left, trying out everything here in a second. I also got that water that came with the pack on the left, the box pack. And I got uh, these sauces, they messed up my sauce order a little bit. This is sweet and sour. I also got barbecue, but that was not delivered. So I was a little bit uh, ticked off by that. Anyway, going in for the the wrap. This is like the triple flavor wrap, I think they're calling it. And it was good. They're using chicken tenders in both the wrap and the ripper roll and all their chicken sandwiches. They're just recycling their chicken tenders. So I was going to get chicken tenders on the side, um, but I decided not to because I was I'd already be eaten them. And the chicken tenders were good. I had no complaints about 
those the chicken in there the whole whole wrap in general i had no complaints it's a really good wrap um good size good flavor good sauce in there very simple just had chicken and lettuce and sauce and same with the sandwich right here kind of similar vibes different form factor obviously um, but I, like i said i really like the fact that you know at a fast food chain you don't really see many places just for one diversifying their chicken like this and for two making uh chicken sandwiches that are actually like on a sandwich roll a proper sandwich you know baguette mini, mini baguette um, here I am going in for the, what is that, the the rooster roll. And it wasn't exactly what I expected. I, I mean, it was, the bread wasn't as good. It was a little bit bogus. It was like soggy but chewy. It's like if you kind of reheat kind of bread in the microwave, it can get soggy and it's super soft, but also like chewy and hard to eat. So not the best on that one. Uh, these chicken pops, that's what they're calling their popcorn chicken. I'm just popping them. Just pop them. They're very addicting. Flavorsome, good. They're they're tasty. I mean, I wouldn't really write home about it. I, I realized I would never really order a popcorn chicken on my own time. But yeah, I mean, they're good in the sauce too. Here's the real test, or one of the beginnings of the real test. Just their straight up plain fried chicken. Um, and I don't know what I'm rambling about right now, but if I'm rambling about something, I'll tell you what. This chicken, it was really actually surprisingly good because it was not very greasy so i thought okay what's the catch here this is going to be not flavorful but it was good the flavor was on point the texture was on point it was juicy crispy flavorful and better than i would say if this was average compared to your average piece of chicken at kfc this was better i, I gotta say i don't know why so many people were hating on red rooster but uh i mean that was a good piece of fried chicken to me uh cheesy nugs they also had regular nugs. I was thinking about getting both, but my my total was already racking up. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just stick with with one kind. The cheesy nugs were not A tier, perhaps. You could taste the cheese in there, and they actually were kind of unique because they had a sesame seed, like they're they're embedded in the outside. Um, I'd give them like B tier. Going in for the wings, the buttermilk wings, and I had that whole stupid KFC video the, the other day when I was like, oh, these are the best wings. Maybe I went a little bit overboard. You know, I can't lie on that one, but. These wings were very solid. After eating these wings, I was like, damn, those KFC ones, while they were a lot bigger, like, I, you know, I think if I was just chilling and not doing a video, I think I would get these wings because they were less greasy, but still good. Um, this was the only, these were the only types of wings they had on their menu. They didn't have any sauce coated wings, but uh, they were, again, just like that fried chicken, they were not that greasy and but still tasty. They weren't really lacking on the flavor or anything. And look at the, yeah, here's the secret surprise. See that chicken? There's a little, there's stuffing. It's a freaking stuffed roast chicken from a fast food joint. That just completely blows my mind. And I think they're doing something a little bit sketch with this, this place with the chicken because it was mo the most juicy chicken, roast chicken I've ever had in my life. I've had rotisserie chickens many times. And I think they injected it or maybe like brined it for a week or something because this chicken was the most juicy. That leg that had uh, top 10, top 10 leg right here. And I'm just stunned right here. I think I'm a little bit speechless. The fact that the stuffing in there, is, I wish I had this option in Korea sometimes because, you know, most times on Thanksgiving, I'm just sitting at home eating a turkey sandwich from Quiznos because that's all I can get my hands on. I know this is not turkey, but this alone is giving more Thanksgiving vibes than just a turkey sandwich with turkey deli meat. So uh, anyway, cut off a piece of meat and just mind blown. This is like, you can't really tell, uh, fast forward like this especially, and you can't tell because of the, the chewing sounds. You know, if you don't like eating sounds, this video might be for you. But let me tell you what, let me tell you what I should say. That, like artificially injected, I'm calling it because that was just weirdly juicy, overly juicy, but I don't really care, you know don't care this is a wet wipe uh, on the back it says best chips ever or something like that best fries in the world I'm trying them out now i've been hearing a lot about people telling me to eat fries with chicken salt down here in australia i think it's an australian thing and i think 
I'm not confirmed, but I think these have chicken salt on them because they're very salty, but also had like a, a tinge of another flavor in them. I could have gone for a little bit less salt on those fries. I should have tried them probably first in the order. This is probably at 35 minutes into the video, so they weren't that crispy. I can, by the way, brush over that mashed potato and gravy because that was bogus. But these Red's Hot fried chicken pieces were actually pretty fire. Um, I think I'm saying that right. At first, I thought it was like they were trying to make like Red Hot chicken, like Frank's Red Hot. But that's not what it was at all. There's no, not that much vinegariness. It was more like a chili oil flavor, a lot of pepperiness. It was more toward like a Nashville hot chicken style, but they were really solid and tasty. I would say for the most part, this whole meal experience in general was a mighty fine experience. And that pineapple fritter blew my mind. I've been seeing this at a, a lot of restaurants over here, fast food restaurants, especially first time trying it. Um, and it was, it, it was actually blew my expectations out the water. Here I am trying multiple outros, but here's the real outro. This is a, a sham of a, a video. I apologize for it. It is what it is though. The mic didn't completely fail. It recorded for one minute and then completely shut off. So I did test my mic and it was working and I started recording and it was working. And then a minute in, it just completely shut off. So for now, I'm just gonna always try to get some kind of backup audio and look into a better, a better mic system here going on in the future, even if it requires more work syncing up everything but anyway i'm skating out of here thanks for watching this one i'll catch you in the next one peace y'all